Hello and welcome back to A Shoal of Wildlife. In today's video, I'm going to tell you almost everything you need to know about the lapwing. You might find it strange that I'm going to start this fact file by saying Kibitz, VP, Preba, Vivac and Peewit, but these are all associated with the lapwing. They're local names for this bird from around Europe based on the bird's unique, alien-sounding call. Lapwings are medium-sized waders, with wingspans of 67 to 87 centimetres and weighing from 130 to 330 grams. From a distance, their wings appear black, but when you see these closer, they have an iridescent green sheen. They have white breasts, a brown patch under their tail, and one of their most notable features is a plume of black feathers that sticks up from the top of their heads. These plumes may be slightly longer in males, and there are other subtle differences as well. Both sexes have dark caps and bibs. In breeding condition males, these are jet black, but in females, they can be less prominent, lighter, and they sometimes appear more brown than black. Lapwings are also quite easy to identify when they are in flight, with rounded wings and heavy, slow wing beats, which is how they got their name. A lapwing's diet is mostly made up of insects, worms, spiders and other invertebrates, but they will also eat small amounts of seeds and grains. Their natural habitat changes throughout the year. In the spring and summer, they are found around farmland grassland and wetlands, but in the autumn and winter they usually gather in larger flocks almost entirely in wetland areas. Lapwings begin to pair up from March and will create a scrape type nest on the ground. This is well camouflaged and usually out in the open where the adults can see any approaching predators. Each female will lay four eggs that measure about four and a half centimetres long and are olive with darker speckles. The females carry out most of the incubation, which is useful for the males as they often have more than one mate in a season and can have multiple partners on nests at the same time. Between 25 and 50% of male lapwings in a study were found to have more than one mate, whilst females only mate with one male per year. After around 26 days, the chicks hatch. They are precocial and can feed themselves from day one, but they do rely on their parents for warmth and to alert them of any potential danger. The chicks are covered in well camouflaged fluff and will freeze if their parents make any alarm calls. It takes 24 days until the young birds have enough feathers to fly short distances. By 35 days, they are fully independent and will move away from the breeding territory to flock up with other lapwings. More than 60% of the chicks that hatch do not survive to the point of fledging. Lapwings will only raise one brood of chicks per year, although they will re-nest if their eggs are destroyed early in the season. There are currently around 97,500 breeding pairs of lapwings in the UK which represents a decline of 59% since 1967, and the overwintering population has decreased as well. It's down 47% since 1996, with around 635,000 birds spending the colder months here. Lapwings are the national bird for the Republic of Ireland, and are also found across mainland Europe and into northern and western Asia. Here in the UK, breeding birds are mostly resident, but on the continent they do migrate, sometimes long distances from their northern breeding grounds. They overwinter in northern Africa, around the Mediterranean and the Middle East. Lapwings have an average lifespan of 5 years, with the oldest known wild bird surviving for 21 years, 1 month and 15 days. And that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll probably also like this British wildlife fact file that's on the screen now. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.